This here is real interesting. Ooh, what a scenario that I'm about to give out. Men who pay the mother of his child rent bills and he has a girlfriend that he lives with. He has a girlfriend over here he's living with. But the mother of his child is behind on rent. And they about to be evicted. Home is kicked out. But he comes to rescue by paying rent and bills over here. While still having this over here. Woo. Deep. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, James, to the O. How about have your son or daughter live with you and your girlfriend? Ladies, if you ever been in a situation, I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's a red flag. Borderline a deal breaker. Let me tell you why. Ain't no man that's going to pay bills somewhere else where a woman stay and he doesn't lay his head at for free. Ain't no man finna do that. Or her rent $1,500 and she's Three, four months behind on rent, and she lost her job. She got laid off, this, that, wherever, wherever. Her hours getting cut. Doesn't matter. Ain't no man finna just keep covering, keep covering for free. Is that his child support payment? He's paying child support plus paying rent where you stay. Whoa. My man, you doing way too much. So you mean to tell me, oh, I don't want my son homeless, so I'm going to just go ahead and catch her up on rent. Ladies, it's more to it than just rents. What about lights, gas, water, food, and all the other utilities? What about that? Trust and believe if he's going to pay that $15 for rent and everything else is much cheaper than that, he's paying all of it. For the behalf of who? Well, my, my son stay over there, so she got to pay to stay. So she's three, four months behind in rears. So you're going to clean that up too, plus keep up with this on a monthly and then deal with your girlfriend in this too. That is crazy. Any man that's doing this, why? Your son could live with you or your daughter could live with you or live with a grandparent. Something. Ladies, you might as well let this man be with baby mama over there. If he's doing all of that, and I'm going to say another thing, he's clapping those cheeks while he's with you. I'm just over here spending time with my son. Son goes to sleep, do homework, play video games, go out and play. And here she come out the shower, naked. Oh, yeah. Like good old times. Smash. Let him go. Fellas, I don't advise y'all to do this. Like, Why? You pay, your, you pay your child support? No problem. Oh, well, I need somewhere to stay. I'm finna be kicked out. I'm about to be homeless, this, that, whatever, whatever. I'm taking my kid. This, if this is me, I'm taking my kid. And my kid's gonna be with me. Or kids, whatever it is. It's gonna be with me. You figure out where you gonna stay. I'm staying with my woman. And my woman's gonna accept the fact that I have a kid. Well, she should already know. Before it even gets that deep. And then boom. It's me, my girlfriend, and my son. Or me, my girlfriend, and my daughter. Son and daughter, wherever it is. And that's the end of it. And you take care of them, yourself. And if your girlfriend assists and helping out, then it's great. That's how you fix that. Not, I'm going to pay bills over here and deal with my girlfriend over here. Plus... I'm going to catch her up with the rears plus current rent and all the utilities too. Ain't no man finna do all that for free. Okay, my son lived there. My daughter lived there. So it costs you three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month and it's just one kid? And you paying all of this for one kid? Whoa. It's a red flag and it's borderline of deal breaker so i asked somebody said what would you do in this case i asked a friend he said well it's tough because the girlfriend is not his wife so he's not responsible for her. 
Okay. But the baby mama's not wife either. But that, that son or that daughter, that's your, that's your flesh and blood. So you got to deal with that. Regards of these two women over here. You still got to deal with the, the kid. What do you do? He said, I'm not paying all her rent. This day. I just take my kid. Well, but, well, she's in spiteful of that. Then what? Okay, we'll take her to court. She can't provide shelter. She lost her job. This, that, whatever. We might want to prove that she's an unfit mother due to she's homeless. She got evicted. She lost her job. She has no money, no income, nothing. And in the courts, ooh -wee, sometimes they rough on men. Because they going to be like, what are you doing? Because they're going to try wherever they can to not have the kid away from the mom. The, the children's courts tend to do that a lot. Unless it's very severe. Drugs, guns, dangerous, child endangerment, something severe. She's homeless, she don't have a job, she has no money, she can't feed, it, whatever, whatever. I have a place to stay, wherever, wherever. The kids stay with me. There you go. But yes, fellas, don't don't do that. Don't have this over here and pay all this craziness over here. Ladies, if you with the man, he's doing all that, and you know he's doing all that, and you talk to him about it, and nothing still changed, just know this. You and that girl over there, y'all sharing the same man. Just saying. What y'all think about this? Let me know something. Comment down below. Be more happy to read your comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. And tell me what y'all think.